In this video, we're going to solve another possible break question. And this question is, I should mention, from October, November 2019. Paper 1, variant 2. So, fairly recent. Alright, so, question number 18 is what we're going to solve. It says, the vertices of a triangle are A, 7, 0, B, minus 1, comma, 6, and C, minus 1, comma, minus 4. Okay. Uh, it says, show that AB is equal to AB. So, it's talking about the length here. No big deal. We need to find out the length of AB. We need to find out the length of AB and C. If we do it right, this should be equal and that should be the end of the question. Okay, so let's write down the coordinates of A, 7, 0 and the coordinates of B, minus 1, comma, 6. And if I want to find out their length, so A, B is going to be equal to 6, minus 0, the whole thing squared, plus minus 1, minus 7, the whole thing squared. So A, B is equal to 6, minus 0 is 6, square of which is 36, minus 1, minus 7 is minus 8 square of which is going to be 64. So we're looking at 36 plus 64, which is equal to 100. And the square root of 100 is equal to 10 units. There you go. Okay, now let's write down the coordinates of B, minus 1, 6, and the coordinates of C, minus 1, minus 4. Let's find out their length. So that means we're looking at minus 1, minus, minus 1. So whenever you have a minus sign, you've got to be extremely, extremely careful plus minus 4 minus 6 the whole thing squared so that means we're looking at minus 1 minus minus plus so that's minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 square of which is 0 so I'm really not gonna in fact you know no harm in writing it 0 squared plus uh, minus 4 minus 6 is 10 and minus 10 squared is 100 okay so I'll just write square root of 100 instead okay now that you guys know exactly uh, what's happening inside the square root now square root of 100 is equal to 10 units again and there you go AB is in fact equal to BC. There you go. That's the end of the question. End of the uh, first part, not the end of the question because there's part B. Then it says find the area of triangle ABC. Okay, so your safest bet when you have to find the area of a triangle of which you know the coordinates is to first plot these points. And when I say plot, I don't mean that you need to like mark them accurately, but like just make a, a rough sketch if that's what you want to call it of where exactly is every single point and then that'll give you a better idea of what kind of triangle you're dealing with you'll be able to identify your base and your height better and that's exactly what i'm about to do so a is a point seven comma zero so that means it's uh, on the x-axis so there you go here's point a okay i'll just write seven here in fact uh, you know what i'll write seven over here and a over here not that it makes a difference but it just looks nicer and then you have b minus one comma six so that means this is where minus one should be this is where 6 should be, so this has to be point B. And then you have C, which is minus 1 and minus 4. Okay, so minus 1, minus 4 means that it's going to be in line with B uh, vertically, but minus 4 has to be somewhere over here, so that means over here has to be point C, sorry, not B. Okay, so now I'm going to join these three points and make a nice straight line out of these. So there you go, there you go, and there you go, okay. Now, finding the area should be pretty simple now. So we're gonna take this length to be our base. So if you wanna work out what your base is, so you can see that this line starts at six and goes, oh, not all the way, but yeah, it goes up until minus four, which I've realized I've accidentally erased. So minus four is gonna be over here. So your base is gonna be equal to six minus minus four, which means that your base is gonna be equal to 10 units. Now, as far as height goes, height theoretically is the difference is the perpendicular distance between your base and the highest point of the triangle so this is what the height is going to be and this length basically starts at minus one and goes all the way to seven so i'll do this in a different color so height is equal to seven minus minus one so that means the height of this particular triangle is equal to eight okay so it's not always that base and base will be horizontal and height will be vertical okay these are relative terms okay height is basically a uh, relative term so a uh, height is basically uh, could be the perpendicular distance and by perpendicular i mean the distance that's at 90 degree angle from the base whatever length that you're considering as your base to the highest point okay so if i take the length bc as my base so the highest uh, the perpendicular distance from the length BC or the line BC to the point A, which is the highest point, will be the height. Okay, so now that you have your base and height sorted out, we're going to use the formula half times base times height. So that should be easy now. So half times 
10 times 8 so 10 times 8 is 80 80 upon 2 is 40 so that means 40 unit square but you don't have to worry about the unit in math because that's already written for you and there you go that brings me to the wait a minute 8 10 yeah 10 times 8 is 80 80 upon 2 is 40 so yeah never mind that so that brings me to the end of uh, this video and that's all for this video i hope you guys have understood this question and i'll see you guys in the next video with another possible question so take care bye bye